Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Now, here I have a huge pile of planners. And this is technically what I foresee being my 2021 planner lineup. So if you are interested in seeing what I think I'm going to be using in 2021, stay tuned. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one. All right, so as I said, I am pretty confident that these are the planners that I am going to use in 2021. Um, I have quite a bit here, and some of it is so that I can have a bit of flexibility throughout the year, depending on what the situation is. Of course, you know, if it's we're still on lockdown because of COVID and such, so I wanted to give myself a few options. So I'm going to move these aside and then show you one by one what they will be. All right, so the first one I have here is a Skinny Classic Happy Planner, and it just has this 2021 cover. It's very generic. Now, the plan for this one, and it's adorable, so you do get this kind of month at a glance here, and then you have kind of, it's like a, a horizontal layout. Now, the plan for this is I am hoping to leave this in my car. And what I'm planning on doing is when I'm out on the go, if I have to make any purchases, whether I go through a fast food like drive through or if I make a stop at Michael's or any grocery store, I can add in what I've purchased and how much I spent. So whichever category. I'm hoping that this will help me with my um, weekly check-ins so that I don't have to constantly log back into my bank account um, and find out where I've spent things because, and I don't know if you know, but when I'm looking at my bank account, sometimes I forget what I purchased. I know, you know, if I've, I've been to Walmart, it's possible that it was groceries, but it could have been something else. So I feel like this might be really helpful to um, keep track of what my purchases are and how much I spent and then what category it falls under. So I'm hoping that this will be a good system for me for my weekly check-in. It does come with these cute little mini discs. They are in like a, a peach, a dusty rose, and a yellow. Not really my kind of color scheme, um, but that is what was available. I may go ahead and change these at some point, but for now, I'm just going to leave it. So as I said, this one will stay in my car for any purchase while I'm on the go. Now, next I have my Daily Duo, and I am super excited about this one. Last year, so this year, 2020, I tried the Erin Condren Petite Daily Planner. And it was good. It worked. However, my daily tasks, the lists are enormous. I have so many things that I need to get done throughout the day between YouTube, Etsy, my full-time job, my part-time job, my kids and everything. There is just too much for me to keep track of. So I went ahead and got the daily duo so that I would have more room because this is a seven by nine. You do have more room. Now, I love this planner. It does come in colorful layers, so you don't really get to choose, you know, neutral or anything, but it's not so much that you can't cover it up. So if you see, you have, so this is one full day. So this would be a Friday, uh, January 1st, and your Saturday and Sunday are split in two on one page, which is fine because I don't often have that much to do on weekends. It's mostly during the week that I have a lot. So this is Monday and Tuesday and so on. And I am designing kits for my Etsy shop. 
um, that I will be using to kind of decorate this so that I can use it. And this will come with me absolutely everywhere from home to work to activities. If we are ever allowed to go back to activities, this will follow me and I will be able to keep track of all of my daily to do's. Now this one book is the first six months. So it is from January until June. So you have the first six months. It does come with a few note pages at the back. So you get a couple notes pages and you get a few sticker sheets. There's this one. This one says today, this week, rescheduled, canceled, some habit trackers, some happy birthdays and celebrates, and then the typical uh, labels. And then you have your pocket. So this is the first six months. It also comes with this ruler and I do have the other six months as well. I chose this cover. She designed a life she loved because I think it's very appropriate, especially for me doing everything I do is so that I can have a life that I love with my children, my family, uh, my business, my job, everything. So I really like this cover. I thought it was super appropriate. So this is my daily duo. This is a for sure going to be used planner. I am excited about this one. All right, next I have a regular Erin uh, Condren life planner. And I did get this cover that says 2021 in a kind of copper foil. So I love that. This is a vertical layout and I did get it in the neutral layers. I've never gotten a neutral planner before. This is my first neutral planner, but I was super excited just because I've been doing so much work with my stickers. I've been, I've actually been really consistent with decorating my spreads. So I wanted to make sure that I got a neutral layout so that I could decorate it a little bit better. Now, when you open it up, so it also comes with this ruler. This is your monthly view, so it's very nice, very neutral. There's only a hint of color on the top here, nothing super in your face. And then when you turn to the weekly, the weekly is even more neutral. Usually you have a band of color here, and then in the, between each um, section, there's a bit of color. But these are completely, completely neutral. So I'm super excited about this one. I cannot wait to use this. Now, this is one of my life planners. So I do have this. This is a 12 month. So it is from January to December 2021. It also does come with, so if I show you after the last week, you do get a few notes pages. You get a contacts section. So you can write their name and addresses and such. Then there is a um, forward calendar, so I like to pre-plan for 2022, and I like that because underneath each calendar, it has a few spots where you could write any um, important dates that you foresee happening in 2022. And then you, of course, have some Erin Condren stickers. So these are the neutral labels. You have the today, this week, rescheduled, canceled, to do habit trackers the usual happy birthday and labels and then the regular labels and then of course the pocket now this also came with a perpetual calendar which i do have one already from a few years ago and i just reuse it every year but i think it is a little bit outdated and it's gotten a little messy with some of my corrections so i may go ahead and transcribe everything into this one and i do try to keep one with each of my planners so Luckily, every Erin Condren planner comes with one, so I will have one in this one, one in my daily duo, so I would have whatever I need. Now, the plan, since my daily duo would be coming with me, this one would stay home. I would decorate the month, decorate the week, put in all of my appointments and everything, but this one would stay here on my desk at home for um, me to refer to whenever I need um, and I would have my daily duo with me so I would know while I'm on the go what I have going on. So I'm excited to use this one. All right, sticking with the um, life planner kind of theme, this is an Erin Condren 
soft bound life planner and I don't know if you can tell but it does have a texture on this cover I think it is vegan leather so it does have a beautiful texture like the the layers embossed on it and it is rose gold and even the side of the sheets here you can see are also lined on um not lined but there is rose gold on the edge of the sheets so I love that now this is a vertical life planner, just like the one that I just showed you on the coil. Um, it is also a, I want to say it's a seven by nine, but it looks like it's a little bit bigger. I think it's closer to an eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11. Now this one will also be coming along with me. So I know I have my daily duo that will have my daily tasks. I will have my weekly planner, my life planner that will stay here. This one I'm hoping will come with me wherever I go. That way I can have my whole week at a glance to be able to refer to. And the reason I chose this one to be on the go is because it is a soft bound. There's no coil. It, there's less chance of it catching on anything in my bag um, and then being damaged or damaging other things. Now, you're probably thinking that that is a little bit repetitive, and it does come with this beautiful ribbon. Um, you're probably thinking that it is a little repetitive um, to have all of these planners with me. And in a way, yes, but also I feel like I really need to have these so that I can stay on top of everything I have going on um, every week and every day. Now... Do I absolutely need to use them all the time? No. And I think that's why I said that these are some of the planners that I am thinking about using, but this will give me flexibility throughout the year so that I can change my planning system should I need to. Now, at the end of this planner, so at the end of the last week of December, you do get a couple notes pages you still get the 2022 forward planning calendar, but you don't get the stickers or a pocket anything. So that is the only thing about this one. You don't get all of the other little extras, but I am excited about this one. Rose gold is my absolute favorite. So when I saw this, I had to get it and I will see how it works. This one will be a, we'll see how it works. I am planning on using a vertical, whether it's both of the verticals, this one and my other life planner, or just one of the two, we'll have to see what works. But like I said, I wanted to have some room to maneuver should I need to change up my planning system. So that is this life planner. All right, next, staying on topic of regular planners. Now, you've probably already seen this one. I am going to be changing the cover in 2021, and this will look very different. But for right now, this is my business slash social media planner. And right now, I have December, January, February, March in it. And all it is is a classic happy planner. So it is a seven by nine. I put on these metal rose gold discs because again, rose gold, why not? And I do like the metal. I find it more sturdy, um, especially if I do need to bring it with me out for any reason. I like having the metal. I find the plastic ones um, tend to snap on me because I do have a lot of stuff in my bags. Being a teacher, lots of stuff. So the classic happy planner um, has obviously your monthly layout and it's not super colorful like you have a bit of color up here but it's nothing crazy and then this is the dashboard layout. I really prefer the dashboard layout for my business and social media. I feel like it gives me a really good week at a glance view on this side and then here I can also list some tasks and anything else I have going on. So I do really like that. Now, the only thing that is not in this planner is I have ordered some planner inserts that are specific for business um, and social media and YouTube and everything from Plan With Michelle. And I will link her channel up here. She is, I believe, changing her shop name 
Um, so you might see a new shop name when it comes to her planner inserts, but I am super excited to get those. I know they're on their way. They're currently stuck in Los Angeles, but that's okay. So as soon as I get that, I will be doing a full setup of this business and social media planner so that I can show you the inserts, talk you through how I plan on using it along with the dashboard. And it will still be on the rings. I did ask her to make sure that it was um, happy planner punch. So that's for sure going to happen. And yep, yeah, so I will, as soon as I get that, I will go through and show you all of the inserts I purchased and how I plan on using this all together for my business and social media. But this will be my uh, classic happy planner for business and social media, like I said. All right, and then the last item, since I am a budgeting channel, I do have my two budget planners. And I'm gonna start with this one and you'll see why in a second. Now this is my, or will be, my main budget planner. It is an Erin Condren monthly planner. It is the 8.5 by 11, so it is the large one. I do want like using the larger one to make sure I have all of the room that I could possibly need. Now I usually get the marquee, which is kind of like that um, cinema board where you have the writing. I decided to go a little different this year. So it just says 2021 Fox budget. I like it. It has this copper foil. I thought it was super nice. So I am trying this and we'll see how it goes. Now, the one thing I do love about this monthly planner, which is a kind of reformatted version of what used to be called the deluxe monthly planner, you essentially get all of the same things. So you still get your, um, you know, 2020, 2021 calendar. And you get these boxes here where you can do some goal setting and such. And then you start off with your months. You have your monthly. And then you have a whole ton of sheets. Now, this is what is exciting for me because the old budget, or sorry, I use it for budget, but the old deluxe monthly planner did not have this many lined sheets. So that is very new for this one in the reformatted version. So this one you have one, two, three, four, and well, four double-sided line sheets. And then you have this line sheet, this line sheet, along with this kind of dashboard set up here. So one of the reasons I was excited to use this is if you've watched my other budget um, videos, there are some items that pertain to my personal budget that I have not been able to put in the whole budget planner because I just did not have enough of these line sheets per month. But with this one, since I have extra sheets, I will be able to keep everything in here. So what I'm talking about are my debt trackers and my sinking funds, which I was keeping in my other budget planner, which I will show you in a minute. I will now be able to transfer into this planner and keep everything that is related to my personal finances. So our family finances will all go in this planner. So I'm so excited about that. That is going to be so much better for me to make sure that I can keep our fin family finances separate from my business finances. So this is the entire planner. So at the end of December, you do get notes pages and these are dot grid. So you get a whole ton. Now I do think that I may have ordered extras. I honestly, I don't remember. I got this so long ago and I have been dying to jump into it. But I do think I ordered extras because I will keep my, um, so my debt trackers that I use, you know, the ladders to I, the boxes that I actually color in and the jars that I color in for my savings and sinking funds, I will be putting that on these sheets at the back. So I wanted to make sure I had enough. But after that, you do get a couple sticker sheets. So I got these two here, which are in the neutral layers color scheme. And then of course you get your usual pocket, the double-sided pocket. So that is what I will be using as 
my personal slash family budget planner. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to jump into this baby. Now the other planner that I showed you and I was talking about is this planner right here. Now this is also an Erin Condren monthly planner. This is the smaller version. It is a seven by nine. And I did purchase this vegan leather um, non-removable cover for this planner. Now it is non-removable. It did come on a life planner. What I did was I uncoiled the life planner and then I uncoiled this planner and then put this cover with this planner. This one does have an embossing. I don't know if you can see it. It may not pick up on camera, um, but it does have embossing OBL for our, our budget life. So this will be my budget planner for my business only. Right now for um, November, December, and I think October, I do have some personal debt tracker sinking fund items in here but starting in January 2021 this will become solely a business budget planner. I will be actually doing similar to what I'm doing in my personal budget planner. I will have you know an income sheet, an expenses sheet, and everything listed and I will be able to keep track of my business expenses in this one. So that will keep all of my business separate from my personal finance. Now, similar to the other budget planner, although the other one is larger, once you get to the end of the year. Now this one does end in July. So I will need to get a new one. All I got was a 12 month that started in August. So I will have to get a new one. This one ends in July. So at the end of July, you do have a notes section. And that was where I put these trackers that I was talking about. And I think I did the same thing for this. I asked to have extra sheets added in so that I would have enough for all of my trackers. And after those, you of course get the 2022 forward planning calendar, same as the other planners. And then you get a few sticker sheets. So just two sticker sheets with the usual Erin Condren labels in the Erin Condren color scheme. And then of course you get the double-sided pocket. So that will be my business budget planner. So I'm super excited about this one. And I love the feel of this color. It's really nice. All right. So that is essentially everything. So my personal budget, business budget. I have my business and social media planner. I have my life planner for on the go. I have my life planner that will stay home my daily duo for my daily tasks that will come with me everywhere and then my skinny classic happy planner that will stay in my car for expenses and that is essentially everything i foresee using in 2021 i know it's a lot and it is ambitious but right now the way my brain is working is i need to keep everything separate so I'm hoping that this system will work. I did do a lot of thinking about it. And a lot of the work that I did this year is kind of what's leading me towards using these planners. So I'm going to try it. But as always, and if you are finding yourself in the same situation, there is absolutely nothing wrong with trying out a system. And then if it doesn't work, you change it. That is not a problem. Yes, you've spent money on planners, but you can always modify planners to make them work for you. So that's why I'm not worried about the amount of planners I have or the variety, because I can always change the system to make it fit whatever is going on in my life. So that was a pretty long video just to show you some planners, but this is essentially my 2021 planner lineup. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I plan on using next year, a couple weeks from now, actually. So I'm super excited. 
And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from all of you. And I do promise that I will show you this budget planner as soon as it comes in. I am tracking that baby like you would not believe. I am so excited for it to get here. So as soon as it does, I will show you how I will set up my business and social media planner. All right. All right. So that is it for me for today. So again, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year.